It sounds like dedication. It sounds yeah. like a lot, a lot of work. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I was going to practice with face tattoos on because they wouldn't come off. <laughs> hey, how are you feeling physically? I do, I'm feeling good. Yeah. I've uh, just been rehabbing and getting everything tightened back up. Uh, yeah, I know everything feels normal. Uh, still going in the training room and doing all that stuff. But yeah. When that injury happened against Texas, it seemed pretty serious at the time. Obviously, yeah, I, off. yeah. What's going through your mind on that? Yeah, I made kind of a scene because in the moment I thought it was over, you know. Um, but thank God, you know, I was protected and. Uh, they, the trainers did a good job and the you know staff did a good job of making sure taking all the precautions just in case something was wrong uh, so I think that's why uh, the car and the air cast and all that stuff came out but I think we did a good job just in case something was wrong but thank the Lord that it was what it was just a sprain and uh, I'm back now so what do you think about how this offensive line is performing right now obviously a lot of uh, shuffling going on yeah. uh, really all season <laughs> how do you think y'all can do that I think we're we're, hand, we're doing a good job of handling the different combinations of guys that we're having put in there. I think we're playing a little bit like this. Uh, I think you know we did a good job getting the run game going last week, and that's what we need to work on. But I think no matter who's in there, I mean we're all coached by the same you know guy, and we're all talking the same stuff. It shouldn't really matter. I mean, yeah, the chemistry is a big part, but we know you know we know the rotation. We know the guys that are going to be in there. You know, no matter who it is. So. You know, we just got to keep the same mindset and not really worry about the rotation, even though, you know, some people might think that it's like a chemistry issue or whatever. But, no, at the end of the day, it's uh, just about, you know, doing stuff that we're all coached to do because we're all coached to the same thing. So. What have you seen from a young guy like Jacob Sexton? who got a lot of run on Saturday. He's got some snaps the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think Jacob's doing a really good job. Uh, I, I live with Jacob, so uh, I'm able to help him at home and things like that. Uh, but no, I think he's doing a good job of taking that opportunity that he's given. You know, he doesn't know when it's coming. You know, some, like this weekend, it was a lot in the summits, you know, every couple of drives or whatever. But I think he's doing a good job and uh, staying locked in uh, when his opportunity comes. So you said you were able to help him out. Uh, what does that look like? Oh, uh, you know, just like w w when we watch film and stuff, we have we'll, we have a little TV in the kitchen or whatever, and we'll watch film. We'll watch, you know, Thursday night football or go over the tape and stuff like that. So. Some of the biggest things that you guys need to do to carry over that momentum in the run game this Saturday. Just knowing that we ran the ball as well as we did, and just knowing that we have the ability to do that, uh, just keeping the same mindset and you know just the confidence that we had. You know, knowing that we had to run the ball because it was raining and, and and the weather was the way it was. Uh, but just keeping the confidence and the knowing that we have the ability to run the ball like as well as we did. So. You've mentioned the 